Super Mario Odyssey's capture gimmick was insanely fun, but I feel like there's even more room to push it further. So I'm going to be taking Super Mario Odyssey's original capture list and effectively doubling it, bringing it from 52 all the way to 100. Let's start off with some obvious enemies that just weren't in the game. Koopa Troopas could act kind of like a 3D version of the blue shell power-up from New Super Mario Bros. DS, and red ones would have a homing feature allowing you to hit enemies easier. We got the Tropical Wiggler, but never just the normal Wiggler in Super Mario Odyssey. It would be super cool to maybe jump on the Wiggler to make it all red and fast and then capture it so you get a speed boost. A Pokey from the desert would help you gain some extra height and Spike would be able to throw, well, spikes to get rid of obstacles. Now here's one of the coolest ideas. Throughout this video, I have a couple of captures that are just other New Donk citizens and you can help them with their specific tasks. For example, this one is a New Donk kid who is in an arcade. He's in an arcade playing an arcade game and cannot get the high score so you capture him, play the arcade game, and if you get the high score, you get your moon. I think that would be super sick. Next up, we have the Ice Bro, Boomerang Bro, and Electric Bro. The Boomerang and Ice Bro are kind of self-explanatory, and I think the Electric Bro could kind of be like the Fire Bro from Mario Odyssey, but if you hit someone with a ball of electricity, that attack can chain and hit multiple enemies. Next up, we have a Thwomp. This one is super easy. And then the Super Horn from Mario Kart 8. The Super Horn would be on a stand. You capture it, press a button and it destroys everything in your immediate range. Next up, we have another New Donk citizen, but this time he's a photographer. Capture him and help him take a picture getting maybe three birds in frame to get a moon. Before we get into this next fact, why don't you capture that subscribe button? I'm, I'm sorry, I'll see myself out. For real though, a lot of people aren't subscribed, so just check. If you aren't and you want to be, then hit the button. If not, no worries. This next one is interesting. It's a metallic statue of Wario. Maybe you visit a town or city where Wario is being worshipped, and by capturing his statue, not only can you move around, but since the statue will be made of metal and somehow magnetic, it'll attract coins for you, which is right up Wario's alley anyway. Next, we have a bob -omb. I think this one's super unique. If you walk by an open flame, it can ignite the bob -omb, and then you have to maneuver the bob -omb towards maybe a cracked wall to blow it open. Next, we have some more classic ones. Nabbit to run on spikes. Boo, which could honestly function just like the Boo power-up from Super Mario Galaxy. And Dry Bones. You know when you hit Dry Bones and he goes all when you're in the kind of broken dry bone state, maybe you can still move a little bit and it'll help you slide under very small gaps. Okay, I'm editing this video and I refuse to let it go on without doing this. There we go. Okay, I just, I felt wrong not having him go back to normal. Next up, we have Shy Guy and then Captain Toad. It would be super cool if you could capture Captain Toad by maybe knocking off his headlamp and then you could do a little Captain Toad style mission in Mario Odyssey. I was going to then put Captain Toadette here as well, but for the 20th new capture, I want to go with Builder Toadette. In Super Mario Maker 2, Toadette is able to like place down blocks when she gets the builder power up. And I think having a capture focused on kind of creating like boxes that you can then use to platform off of. I think that's a super unique idea. Next up for mobility, we have the cats from Bowser's Fury. These cats were really cool, but they didn't really do too much. There were a couple missions with them, but that was about it. Maybe by capturing them, you essentially get the cat power up from Super Mario 3D World so you can climb up walls and whatnot. Speaking of Bowser's Fury, Bowser Jr. in the clown copter is a must. You would 100% have his paintbrush and maybe you'd have to go either cover up graffiti or just place graffiti and that could be the challenge. Next up, we have an ice bubble. The fire bubble from Luncheon Kingdom was one of my least favorite captures in all of Mario Odyssey. I thought it controlled terrible and it was the one part of Odyssey I genuinely did not enjoy. But an ice bubble has a super unique idea, as in maybe you capture the ice bubble, jump it into water, which creates a little ice platform that Mario can jump on. So you're capturing the ice bubbles, building the platforming challenge for yourself, because as you jump into the water, you then go back to Mario and actually use the platforms you just created. I think that's pretty neat. Next, we have a penguin. Penguins are iconic in 3D Mario, so it would be super interesting to see. Maybe you could swim faster and maybe even go up waterfalls. Next up, we have another New Donk citizen, this time a driver. Capturing a New Donk man and playing the little RC car minigame was kind of neat, but honestly, I want a full-blown Mario Kart style like challenge in Mario Odyssey. I think that would be sick. Next up, we have swoopers, which are the little bats. I think an underground kingdom would be cool, and these would be an essential capture for that. Then Monty Mole. Capturing Monty Mole and being able to burrow underground then pop up maybe under cages or under different walls would be super neat. And then we get to a weird one, but I had to include it. If you're allowed to capture
capture Yoshi in the original Mario Odyssey, then you gotta be able to capture Peach in the sequel. It's kind of weird to, you know, picture that, like Mario capturing Peach. I can definitely see why they didn't do it, but honestly, I think at this point, like, you got it. That would be so sick, and you would be able to do some platforming challenges with that lovely, like, kind of float ability that she has. It would be really cool. Next up, we have another new donker, a new donk kid on a pogo stick. If you press B at the right time when he just touches the ground, you can build up more and more momentum, and maybe you have to pogo up super high to grab a moon on top of a tree or something. Next, we have Kamek, who would be able to fly and shoot her little spells. Then, Plessy. Whatever sort of water kingdom this would be in, it, Plessy would be an essential. I, like, I'm shocked we didn't get to uh, any sort of Plessy or Dory capture in Mario Odyssey. Like, that would be so cool. Then we have the Lava Hippos, which are these things from 3D World. And then a plane. I know it sounds weird to capture an entire plane, but A, you captured a rocket in Mario Odyssey. They made that work. And B, planes are pretty big in Super Mario Land, so just capture this specific plane. Next, we have someone skiing down a mountain. I love the Snow Kingdom, but I would love to see a mountainous Snow Kingdom for whatever we're talking about here. Sequel, DLC, whatever. Then capturing someone skiing going down it, dealing with all that speed and momentum would be really, really neat. Next up, Donkey Kong. Screw you, I want to swing from vines in a jungle-themed kingdom. Donkey Kong essential capture. This next one might be honestly my favorite in the entire thing. So if you remember in Mario Galaxy, the Toad Brigade was always at the Comet Observatory, but one of the Toads being Yellow Toad was always super tired. He was super sleepy and I think that's really cute. So what if you find Yellow Toad sleeping in a minecart underground, then you capture the Yellow Toad and are able to control the minecart. It would be a really unique way to like travel from place to place and it kind of tracks because Captain Toad has used minecarts before and it makes sense to capture Yellow Toad because he will definitely be asleep on the job. Next up we have Boom Boom and you can't have Boom Boom without Pom Pom. Boom Boom could just get super upset and start swinging his fists all over the place and Pom Pom could actually shoot shurikens because she does that a lot in 3D World and 3D Land. Next we have Birdo who can shoot out eggs from her mouth because uh, of course she can. And then including another member of the Toad Brigade, what if Green Toad was standing on top of a giant ball and you had to capture Toad and make him move around to control the ball. Basically I just want this level from Mario Galaxy in Odyssey in some way, shape, or form, and that's what made the most sense to me. Capturing a Cataquack would be super neat because these characters from Super Mario Sunshine send things straight up. So what if you have to get a key super high up on top of a ledge or something, but you can't do a wall jumps and hold key at the same time. So you capture a Cataquack, shoot the key way up there, get back into Mario, wall jump up there, use the key to unlock the door on top of this high ledge. I think that would be neat, could lead to some cool platforming and challenges and puzzles. Next up, we have a ball of snow, one that you would capture capture, roll around in more snow to build up to be the perfect size so you could build a snowman. Next we have Poochie. Honestly, I have no idea what they would do for this. Maybe it would be a replacement of like the Jaxie from Sand Kingdom. Only reason I'm putting this in here is because this was actually in the official Mario Odyssey concept art. So they clearly have some sort of ideas here. Going back to an underwater kingdom, let's capture the blooper. Arguably the most iconic underwater Mario enemy. Then next, I think this one's really cute. Imagine maybe on Isle Delfino or Mushroom Kingdom, you see a bunch of toads playing soccer against some Goombas and the Goombas are winning and the Toads just can't do anything so you capture the soccer ball and roll it into the Goombas net to help out the Toads and win you know the game for them and maybe one of them gives you a moon as a reward. I think that's super cute and that actually feels like something Nintendo would do like am I wrong like I feel like that's the type of like cute little puzzle that they would be all for capturing a soccer ball and rolling it into the goal or even hey capturing the goal better yet and moving that to be where the soccer ball is. Next up we have a puzzle piece kind of along the style of the picture match part from, you know, when you when you have to like make the face of Mario. I think it would be a lot cooler if you just straight up had to complete a puzzle by capturing each piece and moving them and rotating them into the right spot. Next up, I think you should be able to capture a traffic light. That could definitely lead to some cool puzzles in the city. Like if someone has to get to, you know, one side of the city to another, you capture all the traffic lights and let them go without causing an accident. And last, but certainly not least, the 100th total capture now, if you include the 52 from the base game and the 48 I've just told you, the last one being Luigi. You should just be able to capture Luigi at the end and then every single moon maybe turns into, you know, a, a dark shade of green and you have to recap.
capture them all as Luigi. Yeah, it's cheap, but Mario Galaxy did it, and as long as you don't hide something behind, like unlocking everything as Luigi, I think all it does is just extend the gameplay. Rather than, you know, just running the game back on a new save, you can play anything in any order, because obviously you've beaten the game already, you're just playing as Luigi, who feels like a unique enough character because of his higher jump and slippier controls. That's what I would love to see, but let me know what you guys think, because I just told you 48 captures that I want to see added to either Mario Odyssey, Mario Odyssey 2, if somehow that game gets DLC, I don't know, but let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, click the one on screen right now, it's about the Nintendo Switch's biggest controversies, and it didn't get many views, but honestly, it's probably one of the best videos we've ever uploaded, so I really like it, so go watch it if you haven't. With that out of the way, I'll see you in the next one. It's Thomas signing off, peace.